heard. Today was the chance to make your voice heard and shape the future of our communities. We've been following the election results in order to show you who will be the next leaders across the region. Since the polls closed at 7, our 10 News team has worked to get the very latest numbers and we have seen some upsets tonight. Right now we're going to take you around Central, Southside and Southwest Virginia to show you the latest election results. And one of the biggest upsets happened right here in the Star City in the race for City Council. There are now two new council members. Joe Cobb and Juna Osborne racked up the majority of the votes and Bill Bespich will keep his seat, his council seat, after earning 17% of the vote. But in a surprise tonight, City Council incumbent Ray Ferris did not have enough votes to keep his seat. Also, Democratic candidate Robert Jeffrey Jr. not able to get enough votes. And the founders of the Hope Initiative, Grover Price, and peacemaker Sean Hunter, also not enough votes to secure a seat. Now, following these election results is 10 News reporter Arisha Jones. She joins us live in the studio tonight, and you talk to some of these candidates. How are they reacting, Arisha? Well, John, those who were elected and re-elected to council say they're excited to start a new wave, as they call it, for the city of Roanoke. Making their acceptance speech to a room full of supporters in Roanoke, the two newest council members promised to move the city forward. Unity! Unity! Joe Cobb is the vice mayor-elect. He's also the first openly gay city council member, something he says is important as a representative of the city. Someone who listens, someone who's engaged in the ideas of the city and how to make the city stronger and healthier. I think people connected with my uh, platform of Roanoke not just being a welcoming city, but an inclusive city where everyone feels included. Juna Osborne is also making history with her win. She's now the third woman on city council. It's a fresh perspective. You know, we haven't done this before, so we're not bound by any rules or the way things have been done. And I think that's going to bring um, a little bit of levity to government. Um, it's great that elections are every two years, so there's always some sort of stable presence. Um, and I think we're just going to really offer something exciting to the city. Bill Bestfitch is an incumbent. He's held his seat off and on since 2000. I think that uh, being reelected is pretty much a reflection of the fact that people have seen what I've done over the years that I've been on city council and they appreciate that. And they want that to continue. So I don't plan to make any major changes. Ray Ferris, a council member of eight years, did not get reelected, but he says the new council will continue to do good work. I'm very confident that we will be moving forward uh, and I'm you know of course disappointed that I'm not going to be part of the team but I think that the citizens have spoken the voters have spoken and I can uh, certainly understand uh, uh, their decision and I appreciate it and respect it. The three council members will begin their terms on July 1st. In the studio, Arisha Jones, 10 News, working for you.